Do you want to upgrade your 2019 Mac Pro GPU, but don't want to pay the hefty prices for Apple's MPX modules? A consumer graphics card could be just what you need. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be upgrading my 2019 Mac Pro GPU to get more performance and improve my workflow. I purchased the base configuration at the time with the exception of the CPU which I upgraded from Apple to 12 cores. My current configuration is a 12 core Intel Xenon W with 96 gigabytes of RAM and the 580X MPX module from Apple. The base spec from Apple has since been upgraded to the RX W5500X. I've decided to go with the Radeon 6900 XT for my upgrade. I was able to purchase this off of Amazon for a reasonable price. This was a fraction of what Apple was charging for the Radeon Pro W6900X at $5,400. What I ended up with was this Gigabyte branded 6900 XT. It has 16 gigabytes of video memory and the AMD RDNA2 architecture. Now, just a helpful bit of advice, be careful by, to check the length of your graphics card, as not all graphics cards will fit in the Mac Pro. I ran into one issue when I ordered the Sapphire branded card. It was a few millimeters too long and would not fit in the case, so I had to return it. So to avoid that headache, make sure you check the length of the card uh, before purchasing. Another note, you will need to purchase the Belkin Cable Kit uh, from Apple's website to be able to install the graphics card and be able to provide the extra power that it needs. Uh, this is currently selling for $70 on Apple's website. So into the benchmarks. The original setup with the 580X was tested in Geekbench for Metal and OpenCL. The Metal score was 48,037, and the OpenCL score came in at 42,317. Once I upgraded to the 6900 XT, the scores jumped considerably to 177,907 in Metal and 125,182 in OpenCL. Moving on to gaming. the benchmark for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, the 580X was run at 2560 by 1440 and came in at an average of 38 frames per second. On the 6900 XT, the average frame rate at 2560 by 1440 was 118 frames per second. So again, considerable upgrade in the performance that we've seen. Overall, this has been a great upgrade to my system. I've noticed improved rendering times in Final Cut Pro as well, making my workflow much faster. This is all at a fraction of the cost of Apple's MPX module solution with relatively similar speeds. One thing to keep in mind if you're going to be running your Mac Pro in bootcamp, you will need to remove your current MPX module for the Radeon utility to install the proper drivers for your graphics card. Otherwise, it will say no qualifying graphics card in place. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe for further videos. Have a great day.